Good morning world, it is a manic morning today, I'm up very early and I'm waiting for Jay to come and collect me because we're going to meet our friend, just spoken to him and he's almost here so we'll be off very so shortly. Morning. <laughs> driving to meet our friend. We've had a bit of a disaster though because we've lost Eden's veterinary papers and her rabies vaccination chart and we need it today because it's her vet appointment to go and get her European passport and we can't find her folder anywhere. Jay has been looking and searching everywhere and it's just gone missing so we need to sort that out when we get back. Top priority because if we can't find it we have to repay for the rabies and Eden can't come with us so it has to be found. <laughs> we are heading to Westfield Shopping Centre in Stratford to meet up with Michael. He lives in Hong Kong but he's back for a week so we have got a small window to go and catch up with him. Haven't seen him for a couple of years so it'll be very nice. Right, we're just walking around Westfield trying to find my friend. It's a massive shopping centre. <laughs> oh, bum comparison. <laughs> right, this is what it looks like outside. Michael was leading the way. Michael just told us that that brown building right over there is only the halfway point of this park so it's actually massive bigger than Hyde Park I've never been in here before the canals over here same canals that go down to Lee Valley so you can come all the way up to London it's really good they've done some good work here haven't they yeah they definitely have although West Ham Stadium just there My brother's name's on here. The very first thing I saw, Michael was trying to create a dick and balls shape <laughs> out of all these blocks. <laughs> One ball is a lot smaller than the other. <laughs> yeah, we need to, we need to, it's got some, um, it's got some, it's a serious project, Sasha. <laughs> so Michael's really proud of his handiwork. <laughs> I'm so proud, I love it. Right, we're right underneath the big tower now, which actually looks quite cool from yeah, down here. Apparently you can pay to go up there and then see the view and then slide back down. But it costs ten pound each. I don't know why that's important. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Weird shape. <laughs> so they've got like a little museum section in here. Giving you all the information. Mm. <laughs> there is actually a slide that you can come down, which cost 12 quid, it wasn't 10 pounds, but it's completely sold out until next week. There's a lift that goes to the top. No worries. No one can pull off this hat. <laughs> I think you can. This is hair, like. Going up. Right, we're up at the viewing platform, come to see London from above. Quite an interesting point to look at the city from, I've never been up here before, obviously. We think there might actually be two platforms, so we're going to keep exploring. That pointed building in the centre there, so where Sasha used to work years ago. But oh, you can see the slide? Yeah. You can see outside the slide. Oh uh, yeah. Otherwise it'd be really claustrophobic, wouldn't it? <laughs> that is pretty cool. Yeah. I think it's just halfway and then it keeps going all the way to that road over there. And that's the Velo Park. It's massive. It is massive, isn't it? It's huge. Bye Michael. <laughs> A few hours have passed since last vlogging and we have said our goodbyes to Michael and we are back with... Food and a dog. 
we are taking her to her vet point appointment now to hopefully get her European passport documents. Everything is starting to feel a little surreal, to be honest. This little period of limbo between two countries has left us feeling a little bit confused about everything. But now, in the last few days, sorting out the last few bits. Just her. Yeah. You have to move back then so we can see the car. Everything's becoming a bit clearer. Eden's passport. This is something we've been looking forward to getting. She never had a proper passport for Thailand. Just a bit of paper. But now she gets an official document. Everything's in order because we just came back from Thailand recently. So we can start getting excited about this new journey and about our new story. Da -da -da! We got it! Yes, very happy. I was a little bit worried there when we couldn't find her paperwork and if we hadn't have been able to, she wouldn't have been able to join us because it would have taken three weeks and they would have had to have retested her for rabies and stuff. So luckily we got them and it is done. She has her pet passport. It even has a little section where you can put a picture of Eden in it, which Jay was very excited about. <laughs> it cost £70 for us to get the passport done. That was for the veterinary, the veterinary fee and also the passport documents and the paperwork of filling out the passport. So if we hadn't have had the rabies that would have been another 50 pounds on top so normally to get a European pet passport it's 121 pounds but we paid 70 today. That's it Eden you're all ready to go you're ready to go to Europe. <laughs> we are back at Cam and Shell's house now we've just had dinner and we are winding down for the night now. Now that Eden has her passport, we feel confident enough to go ahead and book our ferry crossing. <laughs> so I'm gonna make us a cup of tea now and we are gonna book our travel to Portugal. Very exciting. Ready to book the boat? I am. Have you spoken about the route yet? Yeah, I did it yesterday. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so France. <laughs> To France first. <laughs> it's actually quite funny because our landlord is out in Portugal right now getting the house ready for us and the central heating has been fitted already and she'd sent us a picture of the new boiler <laughs> and um, she's really excited and she's been updating us and sending us pictures of the garden and things like that so it's really weird to think that she's there right now sorting everything out for us for our arrival so it's creeping up very very quickly we are very happy and we can't wait to get there on that note i'm going to end today's vlog please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and even if you didn't hit it anyway <laughs> subscribe and we will see you tomorrow bye you know no um dfs that's a social company <laughs> DFDS. DFDS. Yeah, that's it. Really working now. I'll do it. Only one way, baby.